If you've been following my videos, you know that I like folding wooden rulers and my favorite are these old wooden Lufkin rulers. Now, the new ones are pretty terrible. I made a video about those. You can check out that. If you look through my channel, there's a video on old, on how the new Lufkin rulers are just kind of garbage. I also like these folding plastic rulers. They're, they lack a lot of charm out of these wooden ones, but they're really, they're accurate and very functional. So these are sort of the two options I've had. It's the wooden, the old wooden ruler or the plastic ones. But recently discovered, there's a third option. This is a Holteforce, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, made in Sweden. And interestingly, Holteforce was actually the first company to make wooden folding rulers. And Lufkin was importing these in the early 1900s. And then World War I happened, and it got to be really difficult to import stuff from Sweden. So Lufkin started making their own rules, or rulers. So they kind of copied the Lufkin's design. Oh, sorry. They kind of copied the Holtefors design. Now, this does not have the sliding end here. I really do like the sliding brass end. It's thinner than the Lufkin with thinner rulers, so it packs up nicer. But this is actually longer. This is like two, two meters, so a little bit over six feet. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon, and it was supposed to have inches on both sides. But on the back, I actually got one with a bricklaying scale. And I have no idea how to use a bricklaying scale. Um, I'm sure there's tutorials on somewhere on YouTube about how to use a bricklaying scale, but at least it has regular inches on one side, so this is still useful. So the joints are really nice and they've got a good snap to them. They lock nicely. They came pre-lubricated from the factory. There's a little bit of grease on there, so that's good. Um, yeah, this is a nice little ruler. I don't think it's too thin. It seems still fairly stiff. It's obviously not quite as stiff as this Lufkin. But, you know, it's probably as... Well, that's... Yeah, anyways. It's, it's stiff enough for what it does. So, I have not laid this out and compared the accuracy. I know these two both agree with each other pretty closely and they agree with my tape measure so if all three of them agree we'll count the Holta Force as being also accurate. So let's run these out on the bench and see what happens. So there's some tiny discrepancies right at the very beginning but that's really pretty close. Sixteen's a little bit off. That's probably the most off I've seen at 23 inches. And back at 35, it's back on track. At 44, it's back on track. 52. Sixty two. Yeah, back on track at seventy. So it's within a thirty second of each other. So it's probably off less than a sixty fourth. Although yeah, twenty one that's a that's a thirty second off. 
from each other. Of course, I don't know which one's right exactly, because it looks like the rhino rule is long at that point. So if you can do without this sliding end piece, which can be really nice for measuring depths, I don't really use it for measuring inside measurements. I usually don't do that. Um, if you do use that feature, then, well, obviously this ruler is not for you. And, but other than that, this is a really nice rule. Good, good joints to it. Good feel, you know, it's, this one's, you know, heavier, feels more solid, but eh, the lightweight's nice. It's got, the joints are really nice. They snap really nicely. It's got a good feel to it. Um, nice and lightweight. So this is a nice rule. One thing about this, though, is I ordered it off of Amazon, and it took like a month to come, and they sent me the wrong one. This is the Brick Scale 78 inch one and I like I said I don't know how to use the brick scale and so this back side of the ruler is all gibberish to me um, you can get this ruler in engineering and I believe brick scale also and you can get the Lufkin and all sorts of different scales also so but if you order it from Amazon um, be prepared to get not exactly what you ordered and I could send it back, but since it took a month to get here, I'm going to send it back and wait another month for just, you know, to get inches on the other side. It's, it's fine. It's perfectly functional with the brick scale on the other side. And if I ever need to use a brick scale, I'll have a rule that has brick scale on it. So, but yeah, this is definitely a, a good option if you like a folding rule. Definitely way better than the new Lufkin ones with all the sloppy joints and the just poor build quality. And it'd it say it's comparable to these two as far as accuracy and build quality. And I guess, you know, these are going to get harder and harder to find the old used Lufkins off of eBay. And that's a bit of a gamble buying something used. Um, and these ones, the plastic rules, they're, you know... There's nothing wrong with them, but they, they they definitely lack some charm. They're kind of you know, they're they're plastic, they're very functional, but they're they don't they're not wood and they're a little bit floppy. The anyways. They're not quite as nice to use as the other other two. While I was on Amazon searching for this Holtafors ruler. I don't know if I'm saying Holtafors right, but that's how I'm going to say Holtafors. I found that they sell chisels. Now, I like having a chisel in my tool pouch just for doing sort of rough chiseling stuff. And I started out with this Stanley. And what does it say? Wear safety glasses, blah, blah, blah. But this chisel does not hold an edge very well at all. So I bought this... Sheffield chisel, which is probably made in the same factory, just different mold for the handle. And this also doesn't hold an edge very well. So they're a little bit annoying. So, but I noticed they had Holtafor sold these that are carbon steel. They say it's okay to hit them with a claw hammer and whatever else. So I'm going to do a more detailed review on this. Um, it's nice. It comes with its own sheath. I had to buy this sheath for these chisels to carry in my tool pouch so I don't slice up the tool pouch. But this one came with its own tool pouch, so that's nice. And I'll try it, but you supposedly you can hit this with a claw hammer and it won't wreck it. And see, this is just this flat bar that goes up into the handle. Um, one thing I don't like it about it right off the start is the back is painted. So if you know about sharpening chisels, you're supposed to flatten the back. And you can't really do that if it's painted. Um, I know this is more of a rough finish chisel 
a rough work chisel than like a fine finishing chisel, but I still like my chisels to be sharp and stay sharp. So this came fairly sharp out of the, from the factory, but I'm going to get this, this tuned up and compare it to these two as far as edge holding goes and just general use. Um, sort of initial impressions are, are good for this. The, I like carbon, the, the carbon steel better than the stainless steel. Um, I like that it comes with this nice sheath that it fits in nicely and you can see the 25 through the hole in the sheath. So, so yeah, I think this will be a fairly good carpentry chisel, not a fine woodworking chisel. So I'm going to try this out, test it out, and I'll let you guys know. I'll do a more in-depth review of this Holtafor's chisel.